Of the two guests on agenda tonight, one of them is an award-winning actor, the other writer, former minister and also a Congress MP. What they share now is that they both push the cause, the cause for gay people. Now, we all know that Congress MP Shashi Tharoor has been pushing for his private member's bill for decriminalizing gay sex. But what you may not know is that actor Manoj Bajpai, his new film that's coming out, it's called Aligarh, and it's based on the gay professor from Aligarh Muslim University. Now, it's been getting standing ovation in film festivals across the world. It's opened in the Miami Festival, and now it's going to open in India in 2016, February. So we're going to talk to both of them looking at the past, looking at the future. 2015 was when Shashi Tharoor pushed his private member's bill and he's saying in 2016 he may make another attempt at pushing it through. And of course 2016 is when Manoj Bajpayee's film is opening. So our first talking point really is when we talk of 2015 and 2016, is it still difficult to take up such issues? And I want to start with you Manoj Bajpayee. At this time, is it still difficult to make a film dealing with homosexuality? Not at this time. I mean, uh, the kind of society that we've been and the kind of uh, moral policing that has been happening since many years. I mean, you you can't just pinpoint at one person and say that, you know, this, this is happening right now because the cultural policing has been or the film uh, moral policing has been happening since many, many years and, and, and the soft target has always been with the films, the theater in this country, sadly. So we've been prevented to say things in the manner that we wanted to say, in the manner that we wanted to voice it or really ex how? express it. I mean, when I was doing theatre here in Delhi, long back, I still remember uh, our plays being uh, scrutinized many times. And this has been the case with the films, because whenever any party wants to, you know, push an agenda, they, they push it through, uh, through, you know, protesting outside the theater or, or threatening the filmmaker or taking them to the, taking us to the court. And we are the soft targets, you know, because we, we don't know how to fight, fight these elements at all. I mean, politically or legally, we, we don't know. And I remember you telling me before that when you were making Aligarh, which is this amazing story about the gay professor who died mysteriously, just to tell our audience members that he died mysteriously, uh, sacked and alienated by his students, by his university. And even though he won that, no one could even determine what is it that caused his death. And just before we take that to what he faced in parliament, when you were making this film, you faced a lot of hostility in Aligarh? I mean, uh, we were supposed to shoot in Aligarh. And I was quite excited because I've never been to AMU. So this was, you know, I was getting a chance to to get into the campus and to interact with the, with the students and the professors. And I was very, very, I was really looking forward to it. But uh, suddenly I got a call from my director, who is also a part producer, Hansel Mehta, that, you know, uh, he's been in, discouraged by the authority. University uh, authorities. University authorities because they were getting quite a, quite a lot of uh, compulsion from outside forces not to let uh, the shoot happen. So, you know, earlier the, 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 the vice chancellor, who is uh, the brother of our Nasruddin Shahji, uh, he was quite welcoming and he even offered his bungalow, you know, for, 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 for the director and for me to stay there. But somehow, you know, he, they got uh, a little bit wary about And it. you couldn't even shoot in Aligarh? No, we, we didn't shoot in Aligarh. So, Shashi Tharoor, when you hear this, fresh off the entire controversy about your private member's bill, how do you respond to that? I mean, does it sound familiar? And yeah, in fact, I, I agree with Manoj. I've been writing this for over a decade now that we seem to have become a society that specializes in taking offense. Somebody's book offends you, some film offends you, somebody's television channel offends you, and then your reaction is not to change the channel or buy another book or see another film. It is you want to ban it, you want to shut it down, you want to prosecute, you want to complain. This has become unfortunately the default mode in our society. And I blame my own tribe, the people in politics, the people in government, for caving in mm. to this competitive intolerance that we're seeing in our society, where different groups uh, demand 
uh, various things and everyone is anxious to appease them. My gosh, if we don't give them what they want, what might they do, etc. And so everything from taking the... You remember that silly episode of Billu Baba having to shed the name yes. Baba yeah. because somehow Babas were offensive, offended by the name Baba, which, you know, is, is mind-boggling in itself, right down to, to, to uh, the, the, the difficulties that affected... Uh, uh, Deepa Mehta over water yeah. because uh, allegedly the portrayal of widows, which was actually a very human, humane portrayal, uh, offended some, I don't know who it offended, but somebody yeah. claimed to be offended, etc., etc. You've seen one example after another. And uh, right now, I think the latest is Baji Rao Mastani, I believe somebody is objecting to that. One sees a situation where there's practically nothing you can do without somebody wanting to cash in on your creativity by claiming that you have somehow transgressed their thin skin. And so when you go to the censor board to get clearance for your film next month, it comes out in February, <laughs> are you expecting that kind of, a, you know, offence, people taking, getting offended? You know, uh, a few years back, uh, um, Mr. Thiru was talking about, we were just talking about Arakshan. Yeah. But you must know that Arakshan faced so much of heat from outside forces when it was released. I mean, it, when it was not even released, it was about to be released and suddenly... That's a film, know, just for our viewers, that's a film dealing with reservations. Reservations, right, yeah. Quotas, yeah. And suddenly, um, the release of the film was banned in so many states without <clears throat> the without the authority even, you know, thinking of, of just uh, inviting the screening or you know going through the screening and just see, see it for him themselves whether there is anything objectionable of that kind which can agitate the large mass of audience you know they just banned it so who suffered you know uh, at the end of the day yeah you make a film after investing so so much of money yeah and and so many lives are at, at stake so many careers are at stake yeah and we, we started losing money. I mean, the film was appreciated everywhere, wherever it got released. But in large parts of this country, wherever it was released, audiences stayed away f from the theatre because of the, 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 the numbers of policemen standing outside the theatre. I mean, any civilised person will not like so to take... So that affected your film? Th that affected our film. So yes, we are. All, whenever you are dealing with a controversial subject, in any government, you know, previous government or, the, or any government, yeah. Yeah. you know, we are always, always apprehensive. But do you expect more cuts in this one? Because it deals with... It, because it deals with homosexuality. Yeah. Yes, definitely. You do? I mean, I mean, but we are going to fight it out. Yeah. Why, yeah. why were you amused by what he's saying? Yeah. Um, I mean, again, because I'm just constantly thinking, well, you know, to what uh, Mr. Thuru was saying that there is a ban on everything and we are kind of fascinated by it. So yeah. something like homosexuality, we would not want to talk about it. I mean, though it would happen everywhere, you know, in those private bedrooms, but we would still not want to talk about it. So there's a certain anxiety suddenly when you... Because usually homosexuality has been one of a joke, right? I mean, see other films such as Dostana, that, that becomes a joke. So, or the CC um, fashion designer in every movie. So how it's always been a joke. So that's where the giggle. Really. Uh, and do you, do you think that that portrayal has been of the gay community uh, has been typical of Bollywood, Manoj Vajpayee? It's not only typical of Bollywood, it's typical of Hollywood too, okay. you know. Um, and this is where, okay. this is where uh, uh, my job, you know, came in. I mean, as an actor, I mean, the responsibility was quite huge because I was not playing, uh, I was very, very clear that I was not playing se uh, a sexuality or yeah. sexual preference. I was, I was going to play a character. Yeah. And a sexual preference doesn't make a character. Yeah. You know what you do inside your room is none of none of anybody's business. Did you feel the weight and responsibility of the gay community, and especially because it has come to such a crux this entire issue when you were pushing this through as well? Well, you know, I saw it frankly as an issue of freedom. Uh, while it so happens that the bill deals with something that the LGBT community is particularly exercised about. Yeah. What we're talking about and what I'm concerned about as a lawmaker is we have a constitution of India that guarantees certain freedoms, guarantees equality before the law to all citizens, guarantees non-discrimination. Why don't we apply it to this community? Yeah. Why is it that they have to suffer inequality? Why do they have to suffer discrimination? Uh, and on the basis of an 1860 law, 
written by a bunch of people with Victorian morality who have themselves abandoned this You know, I want to interrupt country. you because she had a question for you. I was sure. talking to them. She had a question about the edu what, what was your, your goal? Sir, ahead? don't you think that it's time for our, our education system to push the envelope, include the subject in our curriculum so that people get educated in the best manner perhaps? Apparently, even our education system has not been doing too much uh, so to, for as the awareness. A, as a former HRD minister, do you think that... That. Well, I think the obvious problem is that until we've decriminalized it, you're not going to have the official education system educating people. And I mean, it's like from their point of view, you don't educate people in something that's illegal. Therefore, yeah. you don't enhance understanding for it. Yeah. But it shouldn't be illegal in the first place. Yeah. So let's decriminalize it. Let's basically treat these issues in a humane way. And then indeed enhancing awareness, frankly, there is so much the education system needs to do yeah. to enhance, yeah. for example, uh, better sensible treatment of, of gender. I mean, yeah. uh, the way in which our boys are grow up uh, without any real sense of how they should behave with girls yeah. and with women. This is something that ought to be in the education system. Understanding other kinds of preferences, other kinds of lifestyles and family structures. That should be in the system. All of these things will come gradually. And but first, let's get the stigma of criminality out of it. Which is what the private members will deal with. And I want to come back to that. But before that, on that whole issue of awareness, you were telling me, you were both telling me great stories about the conversation that you had. And you were telling me the problem is, and I think that way Aligarh deals with that. Like, you know, it, his partner is someone who is a rickshaw wala. And you were telling me about the problem with the majority of the gay community. So share that with everyone. <clears throat> Listen, when we are in the first place only, when uh, the court said that uh, the community is a minuscule minority, is it? It is because we are only considering the people who are from certain sections. Say, for example, the middle class or the upper class. But we are not considering the people. Say, for example, the daily wage worker who do not have access or the privilege to even the term called gay. I mean, I'm really, I'm not sure about, uh, suppose, for example, if we decriminalize uh, Section 377, how it's going to help them. I mean, uh, they so, don't, I mean, they're so not... So do you think <laughs> your film, by bringing that relationship, will go a long way? Is that one of the things that you had in mind? Um, this film doesn't deal with uh, uh, his relationship with the partner. It doesn't? It doesn't. It yeah. feels, it deals with the, with the, you know, right to privacy. You know, what I do inside which is my... Which much more universal concept. Which is much more universal. Yeah. No, but I, I could answer that point because to my mind, what it does is it removes the vulnerability of a lower class person of that orientation to being exploited by, for example, a corrupt policeman. Yeah. You know, this last year, 578 people were arrested under Section 377. That may not be a lot in a country, 1.2 billion people, but that's still 578 people too many. And I wouldn't take any odds on guessing how many of them are from poor, uh, underprivileged, marginalized sections of society who are more vulnerable. So it would help such people, uh, young men, because these people would be less vulnerable if there wasn't a law that made it possible to harass them. It doesn't matter which government. I mean, there is an impression many people have said that, you know, this, this there's a particular piece, of, you know, time of intolerance right now. But it's interesting from the from the artist's perspective, governments don't matter. They all, the censor board appointed by whoever, this all act in the same limited, limiting manner. Why is that? No, first of all, I'm not sure that's exactly true. In other words, you can't make exact equivalences. If you consider people like Sharmila Tagore, they're obviously more liberal than Mr. Pankaj I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that he uh, said so, that. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, no, I'm just saying there is still a, a difference of degree, okay. at least, if not of kind. The system of censorship, of course, goes back to the colonial days, and we seem to have been unable to shake it off into one of mere certification, which is what it should be. It should not be having the authority to tell producers and directors yeah. to cut a scene. It should simply be able to say, well, in this case, if you keep the scene, it can only be watched by people over 18 or over whatever barriers you want this to introduce. Certification, this certification is rather yeah. than censorship yeah. is what we should have. Yeah. Yeah. That's been my view. I've said this publicly. I've said this on Twitter. But having said that, the problem is most governments represent, if you like, a society which is itself divided. Yeah. Partly the society is not sufficiently aware. Yeah. There are vast areas of ignorance. There are still people in every party who think that uh, this kind of practice is immoral uh, in addition to being illegal. There are people who think that it's some sort of disease that can be cured. I mean, we've seen Baba Ramdev yes. announcing and peddling yeah, a cure for homosexuality. Yeah. No, but it's, it's actually much more widely believed than that, you know. The, the prejudices are fairly deep-seated. And 
we have seen how other societies have fought similar battles and come out of it. We are still a little bit behind. Okay, and I'm therefore gonna, awareness is where your film is going to take a short break. Make a difference. And I think after the break, we'll ask Shashi Tharoor why he thinks the second attempt with his private members will what's going to what's going to change, what's going to be different with that time round, and also. Uh, we'll talk to Manoj Bajpai about what he wants people to know about the character that he plays. So stay with us. <laughs>